The road connecting Bentong to Rawab, which has been closed for nearly nine months, should be repaired and reopened as scheduled by the end of September. This road has been closed for far too long. You know, since last December till today, nearly nine months. So we can't wait anymore. We want the authority to open the road as soon as possible. That's why we take the initiative to visit. We are taking initiative to monitor and to ensure the completion of the repair can be done in time. As what scheduled by end of this month, we hope it can reopen. We insist that it should reopen by end of this month. The former Transport Minister told reporters that, after visiting the site on Wednesday, adding that the Kuala lumpur Guamusang Highway stretch connecting Bentong and Raup is a crucial road to the locals and that the closure has affected the livelihood of many. Repairs are currently underway at the highway, which had partially collapsed due to a landslide caused by the floods last December. Liao, together with MCA Secretary General Dato Chong Sin Wun, also visited another part of the same road located near the Felda Lurah Bilut settlement, about five minutes from that stretch. Liao, who was concerned about the safety of the road users, urged the authorities to expedite repair works. And if there is more heavy downpour, the road will be collapsed, and that will actually uh, stop the transportation from both sides. And that is the main road from Bentong to Raup and Raup to Bentong. That's the main road. And we was told that there's allocation, the design is ready, but the execution, the implementation, it still has been delayed. Both Liao and Chong said Bentong MP Wong Tak should have focused on the issue. He, as a, as a member of parliament, as a local representative, he should voice out the concern of the people and also should monitor and help to expedite the repair. As a member of parliament, they have all the relevant best platform they have during the parliament uh, sitting to meet up with the minister or to put it question, to ask for it. It's a concern of the people. Those who elected have the power and platform. They should utilize that. I'm not sure. I do not have the, the information about whether he asked, whether he's raised this question, whether he have visited this area or whether they have talked to the at least to the contractor. We have no information about that. Like what Tan Sri said, we didn't read it on the paper. Maybe we miss it. But if we, if we miss it, it means it's not highlighted by him. Liao also said he will personally contact Works Minister Dr. Sri Fadila Yusuf over the matter. <laughs>